In this video, I will talk about the type of cardio which helped me to become the leanest version of myself. Sadly, almost no one talks about this on the internet. Even thought it's one of the most effective and least exhausting types of cardio which burn loads of calories. Now, the thing is, most people when they think about cardio for fat loss, they think about HIIT workouts, long endurance runs, and these very exhausting workouts they will have to do to actually lose the body fat they want to lose. And I personally believe this as well. I used to do very high intensity cardio once or even twice a day to get in shape. And of course, it got me in shape but it was a very exhausting way to get there. I didn't feel good and this is why I'm making this video because I want to show you how easy it actually can be to lose body fat. Most people just never get the right information because it's so difficult to find it in the fitness industry. But now after watching this video, I can promise you, you will know about a type of cardio which helps you to get into your best shape of your life effortlessly. Now right away moving on to the type of cardio I'm actually talking about and it is LIS cardio which stands for low intensity steady cardio. Now I will give you a few examples for this later in this video but first let me explain you why low intensity cardio is actually better than high intensity cardio for losing body fat because most people are now going to ask themselves this question because almost everybody thinks harder, more intense, more exhausting, burns more calories and will help us to lose more body fat. Now, even though these types of trainings do burn more calories in the short term, this doesn't mean that we lose more body fat in the long term. And I mean, if you clicked on this video, then you want to have long term results. You don't just want to get in shape and then gain weight again and not look good anymore. That's why low intensity cardio is actually better. Because studies actually have shown if you do high intensity endurance training, then our BMR goes down. Now our BMR is a mechanism in our body which helps us to burn calories. This is the amount of calories that we just burn every day without needing to do anything. You can find out about this number when going onto a calorie calculator on the internet. You can put your weight in, your age and all of those informations. This will help you to calculate your BMR. Now the thing is we want to have our BMR as high as possible. For example having more muscle mass is something which helps us to have a high BMR. And the higher our BMR is, the more calories we can eat and still be in a calorie deficit and lose body fat, which is an essential thing if you want to get leaner. Now the huge problem about high intensity cardio is that it actually lowers our BMR. Now of course, doing a HIIT workout will burn calories, there's no doubt about this. But still, if this lowers our BMR, then this type of cardio might not be very effective if you want to have good results in the long term. And that's when this cardio comes into its place, because low intensity steady cardio might not burn loads of calories at the time. This means doing one hour of this cardio burns less calories than one hour of high intensity cardio. I think this is clear to everyone, but this cardio is so good because it doesn't interrupt or lower our BMR. It actually keeps it at the same place or potentially even increases it. This means in the long term, we'll burn more calories by putting less effort into our cardio training. And a additional benefit of doing this cardio is that it doesn't increase our hunger levels. Many people, when they go into a fat loss phase, they of course struggle with their hunger levels. Otherwise, everybody could be losing body fat effortlessly. And then when they start doing high intensity cardio, they think this actually suppresses their hunger. But this is only for the short term. Shortly after doing high intensity cardio, most people get very hungry. And this increases the risk of binge eating and then failing on your diet and not losing any body fat, potentially even gaining some. But with this cardio, the risk of binge eating is very low because it actually doesn't increase our hunger. Me personally, I feel less hungry when I do this cardio and that's a great thing to have when being in a calorie deficit. Great, now you know which type of cardio actually is the best for you to lose body fat. But what is this cardio actually? So which type of exercises can you start doing? Now here we actually have multiple benefits. A very good rule to follow is to just keep your heart rate between 100 to 140 beats per minute, not higher than that. Personally I think 140 is pretty high and almost goes into high intensity cardio. 
Now, how can you increase your heart rate but not make it go too high? Well, by doing low intensity cardio, like for example, walking, biking, low morning, or all of those low fatigue activities. You can imagine it yourself or just find out by tracking it with, for example, an Apple Watch where you can see your heart rate. Now, personally, my favorite one is just going for walks. I try to get at least 10k steps every day when I'm on a fat loss phase. I know this might sound like loads of steps, but it's actually very easy to achieve on an everyday basis, even when you're working full time. If you don't know how to actually achieve that, let me give you a few examples which will help you to overall increase your step count and maybe even go higher than 10,000 steps a day. Now the first one is of course just implementing daily walks. You don't even have to do them after work. Maybe you can even do it before work or at lunch break, maybe even with a colleague from work. This combines socializing and cardio very good. Then another option is just not taking your car to go to work or not a bus or train. Take your bike or even walk to work if it isn't very far. This will help you to just overall increase your activity level and lose body fat without even needing to consciously think about it all the time. It is that easy. I personally can even read books or do things on my phone when I'm walking so it doesn't feel like cardio at all. But still, this helped me to become the leanest version of myself. I personally, when I start a fat loss journey, I don't even start by lowering my calorie intake. This is also something I don't recommend anyone to do. First, start with increasing your activity level, getting your step count up, or maybe taking your bike instead of the car to work. This will help you to burn up to 500 calories a day and this brings you into a calorie deficit without even needing to eat less food. So actually, if you are currently eating at your maintenance levels but want to lose body fat, you can eat the same foods, just increase your step count to 10,000 steps a day and start losing body fat at a pretty fast rate. More specifically, you can lose one pound a week. For all of the Europeans out there, this is 0.5 kgs. Now, if you stick to this routine of doing 10,000 steps every day, you will end up losing five kilograms of pure fat in only six weeks. And if the average person would be doing this, then everybody would be walking around with a six pack. Because I saw a study which showed that most males are around about 20% body fat. Now let's say you're 80 kilograms, then you would have to lose four kilograms to become 15% body fat. And most people have visible abs at 15%. So if your goal right now is maybe to get visible abs for this summer, then you will only have to do 10,000 steps every day for six weeks and not change your diet at all. So you can still go out with your friends, go for drinks, eat junk food and fast food and be walking around with a six pack on the beach this summer. Well, I still need to say eating bad foods and drinking alcohol isn't the best thing to do on your fat loss journey. But I just have made this example to show you guys that it doesn't take much to actually achieve the dream physique that you want to achieve. It's just all about doing the right things. So not doing high intensity cardio, it's actually the complete opposite. Doing low intensity cardio, but doing it consistently. This will help you to get great long term results, which actually last. Now, and that's it. I really hope that you found this video helpful and actually start applying the trick I gave you. If you're interested in more content like this, then please like and subscribe because this channel is all about making fitness and fat loss as easy as possible. Sadly, many people overcomplicate it and just want to sell you a course, but these aren't my intentions. That's why you are at the right place here. Then, thank you for watching the video till the end and I will see you in the next one.